हेलो एवरीवन सीएसआईआर एक्चुअली एनटी है हैज डिक्लेयर्ड द स्कोर कार्ड व्हिच इज नॉट बेनिफिशियल फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ अस बिकॉज़ वी कैन नॉट प्रेडिक्ट द एक्चुअल आउटकम ऑफ व्हाट यू गेट इन द सीएसआई यूजीसी नेट एग्जाम्स शेड्यूल्ड फॉर दिसंबर 2019 अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स हैव बीन चेंजड and they are uh, they they keep us waiting and ultimately they give us a score card no uh, nothing like no uh, uh, values like no cut off or nothing no list of result they give us a score card now what do we mean by this score card i have getting a lot of calls we are getting from uh, the moment the score card has been published so let's try to understand what this score card is going to tell us and then also take it forward because the very first thing i must tell you for sure that the score card is not enough to get you understand whether you qualify net or not but it is important to know whether your chances are there to qualify net or not and this time for the first time csir actually declared the way they declare result that means the algorithm that they use to rank you in their site right so as nta said that they have published the score card their part of the work is done now the rest of the part will be done by the csir hrd the actual list of the candidates with roll numbers and ranks will be provided in the csir hrd side like before and that may take time it may take one week two week three week god knows we don't know about that so do not waste your time thinking of the result will come today tomorrow today tomorrow like that because many people are waiting to join coaching institutes or to join and start preparing for the upcoming net exam if your score is not enough what i am going to tell you an approximate idea and cut off of the score if your score is less than that then it's better for you to join a coaching or start your preparation on your own if you want to so let's begin so what we mean by this nta score card so this is a the picture of a typical scorecard that we get this time and what we mean by this so when you are uh, logging into the the site and you are clicking on see the scorecard you need to put your registration number and date of birth or password to see your scorecard and you see something like this where your name will be placed there application number everything will be there obvious for obvious reason i i should not disclose the participant uh, who sent me this uh i am really helpful for it but anyway so in this case you can clearly see the registered candidates was 1,39,040 1,3,947 and appeared candidates are 83,055 only anyway so applied for whether you are applied for grf or ls will be mentioned here and the total marks obtained this is very very important okay many people are asking me what is nta score what is total raw score so there are two scores one is the raw score another one is the nta score okay you need to understand the difference between the two raw score and nta score both the scores are provided here this things is the raw score this first four things part a b c and total marks obtained these four things written here are the raw score okay these are not the nta score these are the actual score you obtained in individual parts okay for example somebody obtained uh, 12 in part a uh 30 in part b and 80 in part c for example so the total marks obtained will be in this case uh 122 right 122 marks and here uh, it will be written as 100 and 122 it will be written in words and then the nta score will be given and the nta score will be different from the actual score that you see here so this actual score that we know nowadays if you add part a b c together is known as a raw score okay raw score and what is nta score nta score is basically a percentile score so what is a nta or percentile score to understand that we need to look into this uh, formula this third one the nta score indicates the percentage of candidates who have scored equal to or below uh same or lower raw marks of the candidates the nta score of candidate have been calculated as follows 100 multiplied by the number of candidates appeared in the examination the number of candidates appeared in the examination with raw marks equal to or less than okay equal to less than that of u okay divided by the total number of candidates 
this is how we calculate that okay 100 into the number of candidates you uh, who get equal to or less than what you scored divided by the total number now what is the total number 83055 this is the total number of candidates who appeared for the exam now 100 into whatever value it is is going to give you the nta score okay now based on what you get you can calculate the nta score quite well now you know your nta score there okay you know your nta score here right you know your score because your nta score will be written now you put your nta score value here and you can calculate the number of candidate who scored less than you try to understand this trick with this trick you can understand whether you qualify net or not okay they actually told you the answer but you need to do a little bit of math so the value for x here is the score the nta score you get the nta score you got into 83055 divided by 100 that's what you're going to get as a score so for example if your nta score is 80 into 83055 divided by 100 so let's calculate that let me take my mobile and calculate it so it's 83055 into 80 if your nta score is 80 divided by 100 so in this sense the value is 66444 okay something like that so that means 66444 people scored less than or equal to what you scored so that means if 83,000 appeared and 66,000 are below your score, that means you belong to 20,000 people. Okay. And we know that CSR will not uh, give you fellowship to 20,000. CSR give fellowship normally to 700 to 800 people, sometimes 1000 people. Right. So for that reason, you need to have a very high NTA score. So with a very high NTA score, you may rank in those 1000 individuals. For example, if we increase the NTA score to 110, then how much we are going to get? 110 into 83,055 divided by 100. So it's more than 91,000, which is crossing the value. Okay, so let's consider the NTA score to be 90. 90 into 83,055 divided by 100 gives us 74,749. So that means you are among the 10,000 individual. So still not enough. Now let's assume the NTA score is 100 into 83,055. So if NTA score, let's say NTA score into 83,055 divided by uh, 100. So let's say the NTA score is 100 into 83,055 and 100 in this below. So what you are going to get? you're going to get the total marks so anyone received the score near 100 get the chance to qualify for CSI net as per the NTA score so if your NTA score is 100 or near 100 98 99 there is a chance that you can qualify but there is no guarantee okay because the number of fellowship given is less 700 to 1000 now how exactly you can know how many people they will give fellowship there is a rule, I don't know whether it's true or not, but it's written in uh, IndianExpress.com. It states that according to the latest rule to pass the test, candidates need to score at least 40% marks. 35% for reserved category candidates. Among the qualified candidates, only top 6% will be given the fellowship. So, 80% above, you are in a list. Now, among the, that list, top 6% will be chosen to give the fellowship so even though you know that your nta score is near 100 but still you cannot make sure or whether you are qualified properly or not qualified for the grf or not remember one thing look at here there are two options either nta score or nta score must be near to 100 and the other thing is that if you're looking the raw score the raw score must be somewhere between 96 or 108 96 to 98 or 100 can be for LS, for general category individual. And 106 to 108 is for JRF, for general category candidates. Okay, So this should be the ideal role if you are looking for the raw score, 96 to 98 for LS, 106 to 108 for JRF. What I think should be the cutoff. But 
for nta score it should be near 100 the close it to 100 the better the chance okay so that's the idea it's kind of a percentile value so this is all about the nta score fiasco that is there i believe i cleared it out now wait for the actual result but again i'm telling you ultimately the thing depends on csr egc yeah, right now for csr now csr is going to publish it so for every single time they are going to make it uh, published letter delay it all because nta clearly stated that they are not going to do anything you can see this uh, para 5 6 para 6 uh, instructions related to ensure ob obtaining eligibility certificate to be qualified candidate will be notified separately and no separate intimation about scorecard will be issued it's already mentioned so nothing can be done now so now you need to wait so if you want to prepare for the next time because if your score is less you see 80 70 or something like that you you, you will not get grf or you will not get ls so do not hold that thought in your mind so should join any coaching or should start your preparation that's for your better choice because the time will run okay so that's all about it hopefully this video clears your doubt so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video and we are also kind of closing down our registration so if you want to join shomu's biology for coaching online or classroom coaching in kolkata you should contact us in the number given in this video thank you bye